In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends in Christ, let us feel sorry for all the sins we have committed, and participate in this mystery in a worthy manner. I confess and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall, therefore I ask, blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your paths overflow. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to re be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to St. Matthew, on that day Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such a large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore, and he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on a rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for the lack of roots. Some seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced a fruit, a hundred, or a sixty, or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Dear friends in Christ, today we have heard the Gospel passage of St. Matthew, chapter 13. Speciality of this chapter is, in this particular chapter, Jesus has spoken seven parables. 
And among these seven parables, parable of the sower is the first parable said by Jesus. And I think this is the most common and familiar parable for you and me because it is very clearly explained by Jesus himself. When Jesus started to speak in parables, his disciples asked him, Master, why do you speak in parables? So far you were not teaching, so far you were not talking in parables, but now you introduce a new method. Then Jesus answered it to his apostles, the reason behind using the parables. Dear friends, coming to today's parable, the parable of the sower. In this parable, we can see two types of listeners. The first listener is one who rejects or one who denies the preaching of the word of God because he is not interested in the preaching of the word of God. I have come across this type of people. These people are saying we are not interested in going to the church because it is boring. For these people, going to church is boring. For them, mass is boring. For them, preaching is boring. For them, the songs of Catholic Church, boring. A particular person told me that, Father, our songs, which are sung in the church, absolutely hopeless, useless. It's boring. Because then I asked him, why? What is the reason to say like that? Then he said, Father, it is very slow music. Every time, same music. Instead of this melodious music, why don't you introduce pop music, jumping songs, so that many youth will be attracted and they will come for the mass. Then I said to him, my dear, our Catholic church is guided by Holy Spirit. So, when it is needed, when time comes, our higher authorities like bishops will decide the apt songs for the church. I cannot change the songs. I cannot introduce whatever I like. Whether he is happy or not, he went back. There are also some other people that say that they don't want to go to the church because they don't have faith in God. Therefore, they don't want to pray. And I asked, why? Why you don't have faith? Then he's, this person is telling that, I don't think that there is a God. God does not exist. If God really exists, then why these things are happening in the world? Many people are killed. Many innocent people are killed. Many natural calamities are happening. At present, you see, pandemic. Many, many thousands of thousands of people are killed. And where is God? God is blind. God is silent. And therefore, what is the use of praying to this blind God? People ask like that. People think like that. And I try to explain the existence of God. I don't want you to bring here now the uh, the proof for existence of God. It will take a lot of time. Anyway, there are people like this. And I will tell you, this type of people are considered to be three types of soil mentioned in this parable. They are not interested in the preaching of the word of God and therefore they don't produce any fruit. There is another type, second type of listener. Second type of listener is the one who is interested in going to the church. He gives importance for the mass. He gives importance for the singing, preaching, 
and all other church activities. Some of them become priests, some of them become deacons, some of them become the Eucharist ministers, some become the altar servants, and many other activities, even helping the voluntarily helping the church financially or giving the time for the church. These are the people who listen to the word of God and they try to produce the fruit because the word of God goes to their heart and the word of God works in their heart. They try to produce, they try to yield. These are the people also in our community. Now, ask it yourself whether I produce 64 or 30 or 100. There are gradations. If our spirituality, if we produce little bit or the only 30, try to improve. That you ask yourself and try to improve our spirituality. Amen. Always keep in mind that every tree will fall one day. The same way we also will die one day and our spirit, our benefits will be, reward, reward will be later. So we have to produce good fruit when we are living here. Then only we will have good reward after our death. Amen. I believe in one God. We trust in knowing that God's providence is for all. Let us stand to God, leaving no soil until in our lives, and bring the needs of the world before Him. That by our example, we will sow the word of God among all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who work to sow the seeds of justice will be met with acceptance and not resistance, we pray to the Lord. Lord in our prayers. That those who work the land will have life-giving rain and abundant harvests, we pray to the Lord. Lord in our prayers. That all family members of OPH participate in our much needed 90-day infusion program, a promise of hope and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who have died will dwell in the presence of God, including Clemencio and Lydia Garcia, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That love, patience, and healing may endure for all those who are affected by the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. For any prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. O oh God, 
sower of the seed, your way transforms all who are ears to hear. Hear these prayers and may your word in us yield a fruitful harvest. We ask this through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the holy of our church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring our great holiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and how arranged the changing of times and seasons, you formed a man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and for ever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Therefore, these gates we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon the like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and endured willingly into his passion he took bread and gave him thanks broke it and gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more gave in thanks he gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who are died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face our mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph as spouse and the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and they will at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father Lord your name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us into temptation deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ the power and the glory lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those who called it to the supper of the Lamb, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life, Amen. Bro. 
Let us pray. <coughs> Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Let us be seated for announcements. Thank you for those that have pledged and are participating in the 90-day infusion program, a promise of hope and healing. We encourage each family to prayerfully consider how you can help your parish during this pandemic months. You may visit our parish website and click on a promise of hope and healing logo to review the case study and sign up for online giving through instructional videos provided. A QR code is also provided in the bulletin and on posters around our church for easy use. You may also drop off your pledge envelopes or mail it during the week to the parish office mailbox. For those watching online, we encourage you to participate as well. Just a reminder, Please wear your mask at all the church events. Immediately after mass, we will be disinfecting the church. We need 10 people to help please meet at the front entrance to receive instructions and supplies. Please remember to follow social distancing guidelines. Father Frank wrote a pastoral letter for our parish church and academy family. Please take time to reflect upon these pastoral words. More important information may be found in today's bulletin. This video will be available for replay on our Facebook after the 10 a.m. Mass today. You may also view it on your YouTube channel, OLPH CCTX, after 11 a.m. or visit our parish website and click on Online Mass Archives so you can share with your family and friends. If you are able to continue your tithing to OLPH, please do so by visiting our website, olphcctx.org, or you may mail your tithing to OLPH, 5830 Williams Drive, Corpus Christi, Texas, 78412. If you are joining us from another parish, we kindly ask you to support your parish. We know that your pastor would appreciate your stewardship in these challenging times. Thank you. COVID-19, a prayer of solidarity. For all who have contracted coronavirus, for safety and protection, for all who experience fear or anxiety, we pray for peace of mind and spirit, for affected families who are facing difficult decisions between food and on the table of public safety. We pray for policies that recognize their part. For those who are not ready to access care due to immigration status, we pray for recognition of the God-given dignity of all. For our brothers and sisters around the world, we pray for shared solidarity for public officials and decision makers. We pray for wisdom and guidance. Father, during this time, may your church be a sign of our comfort and love to all. Grand peace, grand comfort, grand healing be with us, Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
Mass is ended. Let us go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.